Welcome back to the show. Now, a segment that we do here, it's called Adventures in Coaching. And Kim Smith is here to join us and talk about all of these wonderful next steps that we could come across in our life. And today we're talking about the importance of change and what that can look like throughout not only your personal life, but through your career as well. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Maddie. Thanks again for having me. It's great to be here. We love having you here only because I feel like you give such great information for not only personal growth, but for professional growth as well. And so you've taken us through some very important steps mm -hmm. already from finding your purpose to making sure what you're doing for yourself and for your career has a meaning to you. Yeah, exactly. We've gone through what it looks like to have a purpose and to d define that as well as trying to start aligning it with you know, what you're doing in your life. And today's topic on change is going to be more focused on our careers. And sometimes change can be scary. So let's talk about what those initial steps of change look like. Yeah, sure. First of all, we have to identify if we want to make a change. And sometimes things like being really unhappy in your job or maybe things just aren't feeling right or maybe you've been in your job for a long time and you want it, you're, you're saying like maybe there's something else out there for me. Um, those can signify reasons for change as well as, you know, if you've been working on your purpose, you know, that can really give you maybe a new direction to say like, hey, I, I really need to better align with my purpose now. And why do so many people have a hard time making that change when they know it's going to better their lives and better their career path? Yeah, it's, it's a very normal thing to uh, really kind of get stuck when we're wanting to make change because let's face it, we all kind of get stuck in a rut and we get comfortable with what we're doing and it's hard to maybe put ourselves out there and take a little bit more of a risk to better align with what we want to do or to achieve some new goal. And there's a lot of things that you have to put into consideration and especially if you're mm -hmm. going to make such a large change because humans, we're creatures of habit. We like to stick in that pattern that we start and so when you stay with a job for a long time, you start that pattern whether it's waking up early or it's staying up late and then to completely switch that can be really scary for some people. So can you give us an example of this? So I like to think of, and I'm talking a little bit more about bigger change right now, um, but the metaphor of maybe climbing a mountain, and I know a lot of people here in the Vale Valley can relate to this. You know, you're at the base of a 14er and you're looking at the top and it's like, it's this huge peak and you're like, how can I make it up there? Am I strong enough? You know, maybe I don't have the fortitude that I need or the training that I need to get up there. And, you know, it's really about rather than focusing just at that top part of the mountain, you know, breaking it into those baby steps. I mean, what do you do when you start to prepare for climbing a mountain? You make sure you have the right equipment, right? You have a map and a compass or a GPS, whatever it is you're using, and, you know, food to fuel your journey. And without that, you can't even really begin to start thinking about it. So it's the same when you're trying to make um, change on a big goal or, you know, change your uh, career or something that, you know, you may have that goal. It's very important to have that end goal, but you also really need to break down the steps to get there so that you can start making those. And one of the things that might really hold you back is maybe fear of change and fear of success or even failure. There's a lot of fears that can come out as a result of that. So um, all things to think about. Definitely all things to think about, and especially with the other segments that we've done with you where we've talked about really finding your purpose because mm -hmm. one of my favorite things to chat with you about is how you knew you loved helping people and then you brought that to your career and now you have a career that's not only self-fulfilling because you're pouring into your own cup as you're getting to help other people, but then you do get to do what you love and you're very successful at it. Yeah, thanks for recognizing that. And, you know, it wasn't an easy change for me at all. You know, I had a long career in sales and marketing, and I was very comfortable in that. And I had, you know, done, you know, a lot of great things in my career. So it was really hard to say, hey, maybe there's something else out there for me. But I, I just couldn't ignore that, you know, those small voices that kept saying there's something else, there's something else. And so when I finally did take that leap of faith, so to speak, you know, I, I didn't just do it and start right away with what I'm doing today. I, I worked with a coach. I went through the steps. I identified three or four things that I thought I might really want to do and started eliminating those based on my values and uh, other things that were important to me where I finally landed on, you know, being a full-time coach. And I just love it. It makes a lot of sense to me now. And, you know, should I have done it earlier? Perhaps. But all of those experiences I had leading up to this point got me to where I am today. And they all inform and help me with what I'm doing 
not only with my career, but when I'm helping others. Now, as people are gearing up to make this change and they're starting to talk about the possibilities, what are the questions that they should be asking themselves when they do want to make a change? Sure, and it's, you know, there is a lot that goes into it. And um, a lot of times you're not clear exactly on what it is you want to do or how to do it. So I always go back to, does the change you're thinking about really align with your purpose? And if you haven't done that purpose work, you know, go back and take a look at some of that. But does it align? And then second, you know, what are the risks? Every change has some risks there. And, you know, what does that involve for you? Um, even making a simple pros and cons list can help you get really clear on, you know, should I do it or should I not? And then I always like to say, you know, what are the benefits of making this change? You know, what are you going to gain from it? And because generally you're making change because you want to, right? You see the benefits, but getting clear on what those are is important. But also, um, you know, what are the costs of maybe not making the change? Like if you're hesitant, like, you know, if I'm going to make the change or if I'm not going to make the change, you know, what is it going to cost me emotionally, basically, maybe um, monetarily? But also, and then I finally say, you know, run the numbers. You know, take a look at the finances. What is it going to cost you to, to make a change? And maybe it's a... Uh, you know, a promotion where you're making more money. So that's kind of a no-brainer. But sometimes when we're thinking about making really different, you know, changes where we want to go a different direction, it might mean looking at the numbers and, and looking at a different type of salary for a while. And, you know, what is that going to look like for you? Which I think these are all great things to sit down with yourself and really work through. The pros and cons list is one of my yeah. favorite things to do, and especially just for any life event mm -hmm. that could make that significant change. Now, as people are starting to think about making this change, what are some of the steps that they should be taking to start the process? Yeah, so once you figure out that this is something that you really want to do, I say, you know, take a look at that end goal and start building the steps to getting there. So you're saying, all right, the first step is this and the second step is that. And then build out the plans underneath each step because, you know, it's a long, long way from getting, you know, that idea from here into, you know, or to the chair over there, right? There's a big, there's a gap there. Right. And a lot of people think like, oh, I can just do that. But there are steps. And um, making sense um, of those steps and being clear on them, and even taking some of those baby steps just to see what you can start, like if you can start some momentum and generating some movement there. Now, you're a fantastic coach, and you do this for a living. Mm -hmm. So why is it so important when people are making these changes that they come and seek advice from a coach like you? Yeah, I mean, certainly everybody, anybody can, you know, do this on their own. But what I have found and with people I work with is that they get stuck, right? And they're having a hard time moving forward. And maybe it's, you know, for a number of reasons. But a lot of it is like maybe we don't know exactly how to get there and they need some help and support to develop that plan. But also the other piece of it is we often get stuck because of our limiting beliefs and not believing that we can actually do what we're setting out to do. And so that's where a coach can really help you to identify not only the plan and build that out and hold you accountable to those steps, but find out what those limiting beliefs are. And as we're talking about this plan and building out these steps, what does the process of coming and working with you in this kind of moment in your life look like? You know, we really start out with um, asking about, what you, do you know what your purpose is and what, you know, what is the plan that you're thinking of? And then I go through an evaluation to take a look at, you know, the pros and cons and what it might be that you're thinking about and having you look at the finances. There, I can't tell you how many times I work with people and I said, you know, and I say, well, what do you think you can earn doing this? Or what do you think it's going to look like if you decide to do that? And they're just really more going on um, their gut feeling, which is great, and I love that. But let's you know take a look and say you know what is it going to cost? You know what does this change mean for you financially? Now, Kim, if people are interested in working with you to have you help them make these changes, what's the best way for them to get in contact? So either go to my website adventuresandcoaching.com or email me directly at kim at adventuresandcoaching.com. Kim, thank you so much for taking the time thank to chat you. with us, giving us all this great information. And you never know how much this little piece could help someone make that life change that they need. Yeah, thank you. Make sure that you check out Adventures in Coaching if you are looking to make one of these big changes and you're struggling to get from here to the chair because that little push can definitely help you. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned.